Hello, my name's Phil, and I'm here to talk to you today about Andover College. Andover College is based in Andover Town Centre, just near the Leisure Centre, and we're placed near the bus station and the train station as well. So if you're not within walking distance, there are bus and train options to get to us. We're lucky enough at the college to be a one-stop shop for apprenticeships, A-levels, T-levels, and vocational courses such as BTEX. So hopefully there's a course available for you. At Andover College, we offer courses at all levels, foundation level, level one, level two, and level three, with level three being the highest level of qualification we offer. So whatever GCSE grades you come out with in the end, we should have a course for you. However, the trick in year 11 is get the best grades you can, because the higher grades you get, the more choice you'll have when you leave school and the quicker you'll get where you want to go. However, also, if you don't get the grades for level three, as I said, we have foundation level one and level two, and you can always start on one of those levels instead and work your way up to level three if that's what you wish to do. The first level of course I want to talk about is A-levels. So with A-levels, we have 40 A-level and equivalent courses to choose from. Um, A-levels are fantastic at keeping your options open. So if you're not sure what career ideas you have at the moment, if you're not sure what you want to do later on, then please do have a careers interview in school and they can help you with it. But if you still don't know um, what career you want to go into, A-levels are great for leaving options open. So what you can do with A-levels, take three subjects you're good at and you enjoy, and see where they take you. Also, certain university courses, um, certain careers will specify A-level subjects you will need to have for that career or university course. So if you do have career ideas, um, please check with your careers advisor and um, with the college at an open event and check that you're taking the right subjects for what you want to do. Um, most students will take three subjects, but if you're looking to take any different to that, please have a chat to us at interview. And A-levels can lead to employment, higher apprenticeships, university and work. We also offer BTEC and vocational courses. We have over 50 vocational courses to choose from. They're a really good choice if you want to study a subject in detail and you've got a passion for a subject. For example, if I really, really have a passion for sport, then I can take just a vocational course in sport and concentrate on that area. So the vocational course options will let you study a subject in in detail, but also just study that one subject because that's what you want to do. Um, there are good students, uh, good choice for students to develop specialist knowledge and skills in one area. We have some fantastic facilities. We have a nursing ward on site for our um, adult nursing course. Um, we have esports facilities, including an esports arena. We have um, motor vehicle workshops. We have electrical installation, carpentry, and bricklaying workshops. And and so on. So we've got some fantastic facilities um, for our vocational courses. Also, if you're doing vocational courses at level three, they can lead to university employment, work or degree apprenticeships. So basically, it isn't just A-levels that will lead to university. If you're doing vocational courses at level three, they will get you there as well. Another course option we offer is for a student to study a T-level. A T-level is a nationally recognised qualification for 16 to 19 year olds that takes two years to complete. Leading businesses and employers help design T-levels to give students the knowledge and skills they need. They're roughly equal to three A-levels. On a T-level, you'll spend 80% of your time in the classroom and 20% on a minimum nine week placement with an employer. This means you'll learn what a real career is like whilst you continue your studies. At Andover College, we have um, a wide variety of T-level courses you can study, such as automotive maintenance, insulation and repair for light and electric vehicles, digital production design and development, education, finance, adult nursing, on-site construction bricklaying, on-site construction carpentry, and science. Also, T-levels um, can lead to university, work and apprenticeships and degree apprenticeships. Also at the college, we've been investing in lots of facilities for T-levels, including, as mentioned before, our hospital ward for our adult nursing students. 
Also for those um, studying level three courses, we have our university prep program. We understand that lots of university courses are quite competitive and difficult to get on. So in various areas, we offer our university prep program. And on this program, you'll, you'll be have access to industry uh, relevant presentations and guest speakers and field trips as well. Um, the option to undertake relevant work experience or subject related project visits to relevant universities, including Russell group universities um, coaching and mentoring from subject specialists and support with your application which is really important making sure you're putting the right things in the application to get into the course you want and also specialist interview and assessment preparation um, some university courses may interview um, and what we're giving you there is practice and mock interviews to help you hone your skills so when you go to university and have your interview um, you do as well as you possibly can also, we have um, an extended project qualification offer um, known as the EPQ, and that's a one year course where you direct the learning. You choose a project you want to undertake and you present your findings. It is the equivalent of an AS level and universities do like this qualification because it shows you can study the way you study at university. So, for example, researching and presenting your findings. That's the way you'll study at university and that's the way you study through the EPQ. You. So that demonstrates to universities that you can study in that way and you can choose the topic, you choose what you do the research project in and that you're going to prevent your, uh, present your findings in. As a college, we recognise not all students want to study a full time college course and some students want to do something a little bit more work based. So for that reason, we have the apprenticeships option. So we offer apprenticeships um, in the areas um, listed on screen and the subjects are very occupational. On the apprenticeship, you will work four days a week with an employer and do day release to college. You'll get a training allowance or a wage and also you'll work towards a nationally recognised qualification. So it's a way of getting qualifications in the job you want to do through a work-based placement through work. If you're interested in apprenticeships, please do contact the apprenticeship team, have a look on the website, their contact details are there, or do come to an open event so you can chat with them there about that option. Also, another option we offer for students who are studying a full-time college course are lots of different trips and visits in order to enhance your studies at the college. So here we can um, see a slide of um, five of the trips um, our students have been on. There's many, many more trips going on. So for example, we have our A-level biology and BTEC human biology students who took a trip to Monkey World. We've got our science students on their trip to Geneva, and we also have health and social care students on their trip to Purple Oak Support. So um, lots of trips and visits available um, for you to see how your subject works um, outside college and in the wider world. At Andover College, all students are supported. And the first support option I'm going to mention today is careers advice and guidance. Um, it's preparing you for your next step from college. And Andover College has a careers hub on campus. The careers hub acts as a central point for all student questions, queries, and information and our careers team can provide comprehensive support and encouragement. The team also arranges trips, um, internal and external college events, and visits from speakers to enrich and prepare you for your next step. Another aspect of the support we offer is wellbeing support. Andover College has a fantastic wellbeing hub on campus. The wellbeing hub is complete with a student lounge, mindfulness rooms, health hub, private gardens, and meeting pods. The wellbeing hub um, is also a central space for students to foster positive wellbeing, personal growth, and independent self-help strategies. Um, students will be supported by dedicated staff with any issues, problems, or struggles they're having at college, and they will also be the opportunity to spend some time with our therapy dogs Romeo and Fenn. 
Also at the college, we offer students learning support. We have a dedicated learning support team who want to help students reach their potential. The team includes learning support workers, key workers, team leaders, SPLD assessors and specialists, and SEN officers. Support can include in-class one-to-one support sessions, study and assignment workshops, access arrangements, and assistive technology. We also work closely with a variety of different partner agencies to ensure the best experience for our students. So if you have any learning support needs, please do make sure you make a note of that on your application form. Um, so our experts can have a look at your application form and have a chat to you at interview about um, how we can best support you when you come to college. Andover College is a college that succeeds. Through a combination of students' hard work and determination and the personalised approach to learning, students regularly achieve outstanding results progressing on to study at universities across the UK. We've also maintained and secured our position as one of the top A-level providers in the region with a 100% pass rate across 16 of 19 A-level courses and subject areas with high levels of students scoring A star to B, which included chemistry, geography, history, and politics. Also a special mention for our T-level adult nursing programme with 100% of learners achieving a high grade. So our students do extremely well and succeed thanks to the hard work and everything the college offers them, which I've highlighted in this presentation so far. Andover College um, being located in Andover Town Centre is very easy to get to. We have students um, travelling from Andover and the surrounding areas and these students make their journeys to college by bus and coach, by train or by car or if they're students who live locally in Andover, um, they would walk. If you're not sure how to get to Andover College, please contact the transport team at the college. The details are on the um, Andover College website if you're going to transport, or come and speak to the team at um, Andover College Open Event. Andover College are also very active on social media. Um, as you can see on the screen here, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. So if you want to find out what brilliant things our teachers and students are getting up to, please have a look at our social media channels and please give us a like if you can. This slide shows the application journey for someone in year 11. Um, when you start year 11 at the start of the autumn term, the first thing you should be doing is um, choose and research the course that you're interested in. Also check entry requirements to see which level is best for you. Also, if you need more help with that, you can um, ask for a careers interview in school and the careers advisor can help you with um, looking at if the course is right for you, the entry requirements and which level would be best. Once you've decided which course is for you, then please do come and visit the college. Um, we have open events um, in the autumn term that you can attend. And op on an open event, you can speak to teachers, you can speak to students, you can also look at the facilities, the environment, um, and have a good look at courses to see if Andover College is the place you want to study. If it is somewhere you want to study, then all you need to do is apply online, ideally before Christmas of your year 11. And you can apply online if you go into the website, um, the Andover College website, um, click on apply, then follow the instructions, then you can make your application. Once you've applied, you'll be invited to an interview um, with a course tutor and you'll have a chat about the course and, and then hopefully you'll be offered a place from there. Then once you've got your place, once you've left school in the summer, you'll attend an applicant welcome day where you spend the day with us and try your subjects out. And then finally, when you get your GCSE results um, in the September following the summer when you left school, you will then enrol at Andover College and you're in. Throughout the presentation, I've mentioned open events and open events are a fantastic way to find out more about the college and see if the college is the right place for you. At an open event, you can speak to staff and students. You can also have a look at our amazing facilities. You can also look at entry requirements, um, chat to teachers about the course and the course content, um, see where the college is in relation to the bus and train stations if you've never been here before, and really just start to look at if the college is the right place for you to study after 
year 11. So it's really important to come to an open, open event. And also please do come to an open event, even if you've seen the college before. So if you've been at, to the college in year seven, eight, nine, or 10, that's brilliant. But um, do come again in year 11, because obviously that's um, a really relevant time, a really good time to come to the open event, um, to check out all the options again, because we've added lots of facilities in the last couple of years, so we may have changed as well. So even if you've been to the college before, do come and have another look in year 11 to have a look around and see if the college is for you. Also, it's easy to book onto an open event. You just go on the website, click on open event at the top of the page and book a place. Um, so you book a place on the open event via the website, which is very, very easy. So thank you very much for listening um, to the presentation today. We hope to see you very soon at an open event um, where you can find out lots of information to inform your decision on what you'd like to do when you leave year 11. So thank you again for listening and we hope to see you soon.